This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. What's up, everybody? Don't be shy. Let's get some chatting. I'm here. Hopefully, y'all guys can hear me. Hopefully, I can see you. Um, Jeff, my man. Hello. There you go. There it is. And you can hear me, right? Sound check. One, two. <laughs> it's probably delayed. Yeah, okay. Good old 30 second delay there. <laughs> no, guys. Um, I'll wait a couple more minutes because it's not exactly 12. But I kind of did want to go over like all these controllers that I have and why I don't use them and why I have so many of them. Because <laughs> it's, it's an addiction, guys. This Christmas light stuff is addicting. All right. So I got I got some more Christmas light stuff over there. I'm gonna set up real quick so you guys get the. Uh, I'm not going to blow myself up, Ike. No, don't worry about that. Um, hold on. Let me uh, get some trees. It's pretty dang easy. It's just there. So, which is pretty cool. Each one has 100 pixels on it. That's uh, about $50 in lights, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the lights aren't cheap. I think for all four of the trees was 50 bucks. I think. But, I don't know. If you guys want to just hang out just for a little bit, um, I'll start talking about stuff around 12, just 12, and I think it's like a couple minutes out. I don't have my phone right now because I'm live streaming on it. <laughs> yeah, I had to find a shady area too. Oh, it's 1158 AM, it says on my phone. I don't know why. <laughs> You're <laughs> okay. Two more minutes. I can wait two more minutes. I guess. Yeah. Can y'all wait two more minutes? That's the thing. Y'all wait two more minutes. And I'll tell you all about these controllers first, and then we'll start setting crap up in the yard out front. I'm in my backyard right now. So, brought to you by Train. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this without jiggling. Brought to you by train there. <laughs> Why are you AC guys? Jeff got a tripod? What? No. <laughs> Tiny little train. XE1000. Got two of them. One on my side, one on my roommate's side. And I sprayed everything back there with Roundup. Like, uh... I don't know, a couple of weeks ago because I hate trimming around the copper pipes and the uh, air conditioning, so I just spray it down like. So. Messy backyard. Look at the messy backyard. Got my grills. Had to move them to cut grass. So, painting the, what rhymes with grass. How do you make chat stay up? Let's see. Um, cancel. 
All right, it's 12 o'clock. Hitting crap and crap keeps. All right, anyway. I'm probably not going to get all your messages because I'm not going to be looking at the phone that much, but. Uh, doggone it, man. This is not easy to do. I say something. What the heck? Hold on. I'm still kind of... There we go. Okay. If people are starting to say crap in the chat and stuff, give them the blue ranch. Hit them with it. All right. So you got different... Different controllers, guys, right? You have... Um... The one that I use is called the Sans Device E86 controller. This controller basically the, it doesn't only do 16 channels. You can daisy chain as many lights as you want. On my Christmas tree, um, it's got 12 strands. I don't use 12 channels. I only use four or six, I think, because I go up the tree, I go down the tree, and that's about all, all you can do with 12 volt pixels. Let's go up the tree and down the tree. 100 pixels in daisy chain format. But it does depend on how you um, set these things up. This controller right here costs about $109. Um, and you have to solder it yourself. I got a video on me soldering this very controller. Why, I don't know. but Because I'm probably never going to have the real estate to use it. But. Better safe than sorry. Before that came out, this little guy came out. It does the same exact thing. It has 16 channels, but the plugs were different for strips instead of pixels. Then, um, back in the back in the old days, and people still use this, is they blink off and on these analog lights like this with a controller like this that has DMX inputs and solid state relays and, and stuff. So that's your options. This is my recent purchase. It's still brand new in the box with the anti-static bubble wrap. And purchase is still brand new in the box with the anti-static bubble wrap. And I plugged it up to uh, five volts to see how it works. Got a little LCD screen. You can hook up uh, the same thing with this, 16. You can daisy chain them has two ethernet ports and a DMX port output and Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and not not Bluetooth, I'm sorry, uh, Wi-Fi, but uh, right here, I can buy an extra FM transmitter to plug into that and has a little SD card, standalone. You can put this in the box and not have anything going inside your house, like an ethernet cable, for instance. Well, that's great, Jeff, but how do you get the sound out there to the viewers when you have to tune in to 88 point time? Not really watching. I mean, this is my FM transmitter right here. Um, it outputs a uh, pretty good distance. I, I bet you it's uh, there's the antenna that my cat chewed up, but it still, it still rolls. Um, this thing, I don't know. 80, 80 bucks or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it outputs, um, I can go all the way down to the store and I can still hear my Christmas lights on 88.5, which is what I got this set to. And you got volume knobs so you don't blow out people. The computer, aka, by the way, you don't need this if you have this. Like, this whole thing can do everything. This one controller. And you can get them from Holiday Coro um, for $129 right now. Buy now. Right now. Where is the fun at? Blow out the speakers. No, no, no. We're not going to blow out the speakers. But this is what I use the Raspberry Pi. I think it's the B3 Plus. It's got some USBs. It is a freaking computer. Uh, I think everybody's seen this. It's got the audio out here. It can also do audio out on the HDMI cable. And that's the power. 
my whole show is right here in this little flash drive well the operating system is and then i put all my sequences on a um a flash drive that's it and it, it plays it i might do some more detailed videos on how that works because that's the uh hardest part about setting this stuff up so well i hope i kind of explain what these controllers do and how there's different controllers um I mean, if you have any questions, when put them in chat or something, and hopefully I can see them. But I'm going to be going back and forth to the phone right now, and I'll say, I'm back at the phone right now, like I am now, okay? And, and pausing a little bit. Uh, this is something, uh, no offense to the makers or models of this, uh, this thing, but you need, to, you need to work on that. That is not... That is not a good uh, FM transmitter. That is junk. So, do not buy that. That thing sounds like crap. John is in the house. I just saw that. I'm trying to have... John, you do this more often than I do. How do you get chat to stay here and able fight? What the hell? Top chat, live chat. There we go. Can I just click on you? On you? Mm. I can I can put you on timeout. <laughs> oh my God! There I am. Start of the show. Army. Yeah. No, I'm just <laughs> oh Lordy. I know there was a way to bring the chat back up. I'm tapping. I'm doing all sorts of crap. Anyway. Cause this is gonna suck. Can I be away like top chat? Okay, I guess I gotta hit the uh, thing. L series is in here. Okay. I I thought there's a way you could keep the chat on. Right? I mean. Yeah, me too, man. What what the heck, YouTube? Get together, man. Anyway. So <laughs> That's what she said. Hopefully it doesn't rain, because you know Florida. It's not going to be fun. Trying to run in here with all this electronic crap. Yeah. <laughs> fail, Jeff, fail. <laughs> so my controller is in here. Alright, my controller is in here. Ta-da, told you. Only use six. It's four, one, two, three, and four. We're gonna have to go through this again this year. Oh, here's one. It came on close. Okay. They're just plugged in, but I don't use them necessarily. But um, these these six right here are for my um my tree, and these uh four right here for the four mini trees then I have the two snowflakes and I have the one star on the tree so just to make things simple I just put them in one channel a piece except for the tree these are channels I got some longer extensions and the tree has shorter extensions because they have they have the, um, connectors on them so I don't get them mixed up smart thing to do too Power supply, which is just sitting in here. So they uh, 12 volt, uh, 400 watt power supply. So, how much is
What does that cost, Jeff? Well, take 400 watts. That's all I use, 400 watts. And that, I'm not even using that because it's big. These are the cables that go to everything, the mini tree, the stars, the snowflakes. Here in a second, I'll show you. I have this little F amp on them, which amps the signal because I'm going longer than 25 feet. You can't just run this crap all the way, you know, across the, across the way there. I don't know. Hopefully, you know what? I forgot to get zip ties. Hopefully, I have zip ties or this is not going to go good. But these are the stakes for the mini tree. Put them over there. Snowflakes. Snowflakes. And I bought all this stuff off of Holiday Core there. I'm, I'm going to continue sponsoring them. Some extension cords, I only need about one of them. This is a supply, but I only need one, one extension cord for the whole shelf. So. And so, somebody might have Alright, so when I pack up my tree, I fold it in half. And uh, I just keep them attached to the to the topper. I know this looks like a mess. Let's take this over here to the grill. Ah, yeah, baby. power supply another power supply which I don't use I went overboard I have star showers uh, for the laser thing and another star shower right here that does patterns and I don't see zip ties that, that's concerning this got in there but somehow a flapper valve <laughs> got it but yeah I use this for extra storage too sometimes apparently and I got some rope and some extra wire and stuff but that's about it I need to clean that thing out but here's all my junk and we're not done yet Show. 88.5. This sucker right here, I had to poke every one of those in the hole. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. But this came from Holiday Coral as well. Let's take it and stake it. And then bam. You gotta you gotta tune in Tucson. Hopefully all this stuff works when I hook it up. It might be a part two live stream, by the way. Um, if this, uh, if this works, uh, yeah, I'm going to always beat you to it with that 30 second delay there. <laughs> yep. So there's all my junk. And, uh, the first thing I usually do is we're sponsored by train, by the way, John, we're sponsored by train. Don't forget, don't forget that, all right? 
and uh, we're sponsored by Train. Did I mention that? Train? Yeah, okay. Anyway, I put it up here on the grill. <laughs> Let's see if I can get y'all in a good angle here. Uh, it's so sunny over here. I can't see. That's why I didn't want to... Hold on. So mainly, I need to go through each one of these strips. And like I said, there's 12 of them. Well, it's gonna fall, I guess. It didn't last time. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I love that grill because it has this little little thing on the chimney that helps me out. Here, I'm gonna back you up a little bit, but all you need to know is I'm putting it in the hole. And I'll let y'all I'll let y'all go ahead and uh chat about that. <laughs> so you gotta make sure every LED is in the hole. If not, your show is gonna be really bad when you have to go get a ladder and uh, figure out where that hole is. Alright, so I don't have uh, zip ties. Good. Uh, hopefully y'all can still hear me because you know I'm like in my backyard by myself talking to myself and everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm doing a live stream, damn it! <laughs> but anyway, got to go through every this is the only pain in the butt really. <clears throat> checking it, especially at the top because you don't want these at the top because it's so congest congested that um, you're going to have problems. You're going to have to like get out a ladder and crap and get all up underneath that when that when all these are at a 45 degree angle like this and it's hard to get to when once you hang it. So you better make sure all your LEDs, lights, whatever are up there. I guess worst case scenario is, you know, you would uh, have a bulb out. Gosh, that would suck. But if it's, you know, head height or something like that, who cares, really? And some of these might pop out while I transport it to the front yard. But here's a prime example right here. Hopefully y'all guys can see that. I don't know how... Trying to get y'all closer, but my fat ass will be in the way. And that's what she said. There we go. Nah, that's probably better than nothing. But see, like they can pull out of these strips. So put them all back in the holes. And uh, on extreme cases, what I'll do is I'll punch them all the way through so they have to that way at least I can I can climb up there and put them through there but a couple here that pop out and for the most part these strips do hold them in there pretty good but this is a three year old tree it's been stored three times so if Leaves falling everywhere. I feel like a fairy. <laughs> uh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, don't do that. Yeah, this one, this one, this one's about to fall out. This one, this one. This is the most boringest part right here, guys. But it's something that you have to do if you own one of these trees. But pretty much takes the same time to fluff a regular tree that you have at your house. You know the ones that you buy in the box or whatever? 
if you don't buy a live tree, um, you got the one in the box and you gotta bend all of the, all of the stuff and then the branches out. I hate doing that. I just did that yesterday for my work. Sitting there, and I, I'm an interior designer. I know exactly what to do. I'm like, okay, well, go for it. Didn't look like that tree was decorated when I left, though. Which just my job to set up the tree. I, I was told. But, well, there's a, another one there. Shoot. All right. Well, phew. goodness gracious. It's chat break because my fingers hurt. Punching them things things through, man. It's um. It's different, see? And they all over there. Up on the chimney there. Up on the chimney. Click, click, click. You know what? Is it, is it, so it's like 12.30 almost, I, I assume. Um, what the heck with it? I'm gonna go get a cold beverage. Anybody want anything? Beverage is not alcoholic and um, whatsoever <laughs> at at noon. I cut my grass drinking beer. All right. P68 rating, so that's that tells me that they're not entirely waterproof. But here, if you want to see one up close, you know, if you guys have never seen one, it's a, uh, make sure I'm getting this on camera. It's got a little microchip in it. At the end of my line right there, so I just snip it off. And they're directional, so they got a little circuit board and a RGB pixel light in them. Pretty cool. Whoever invented these sure is making some money. They are the newest, greatest, and latest Christmas lights, apparently. You know what? We're almost good. And we got one up here. I'm probably still going to have to get out the ladder, to be honest with you. This place is a dang in this place. Your show looks like crap. I've never seen the show before, but you as you as the programmer and, and putting all this stuff together. So this is probably gonna be about eight feet tall. 
Last year it took me, I think, 30 minutes for the whole thing, but it's going to take me longer, guys, because I'm, I'm going to try to answer some questions or something if y'all have any. I mean, been going at it for 30 minutes already. No, that's not near a beer, John. That's, that's you know, it's, <laughs> it's, y'all probably can't even have these in California because. It's crazy. It's Ice House Edge, 8% alcohol. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably made in California. I have no idea. Y'all probably and probably can't even have these dang Christmas lights. They're probably too bright and flashy and stuff. Ooh. Causes cancer, probably. <laughs> that away, I don't know. Take yeah, root beer. Hardly. Oh, we have something down here also called Grandpa's Hard Root Beer. Stuff is nasty, actually. Down here in Florida. All right. Um, no. I got to do one little thing. Let's see. One little thing inside before I go to the front yard and we'll go ahead and start setting up like the elements and stuff and I think I'm going to do the tree last as y'all can see you see the pole uh, this is just a piece of like a uh, fence like you like a chain length fence like that that's just a piece of that pole and then the uh, the brown the the gray not but some half inch uh, PVC conduit. And we're going to bend this like this to make the tree base. Yeah. Uh, I think one year... Yeah, you probably would, John. You, you would... I could see you in the back of a freaking California State Patrol car. Just... I'm sorry about the lights. I'm so sorry. They, they flash red and blue. Are you sure they flash red and blue? Because that gives people cancer and stuff. Yeah, that, that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah. This goes, this extension needs to go over there about star. Let me go do my thing uh, real quick. I'm down. Back oh my god, he's back again. So, let's uh, start off with a little poppy here. I'm gonna tune in to 88 and sign. I'm gonna go over here to the um, sponsored by train message over here. Mm. Stop it, wrong and stuff. There's my lawnmower. I gotta put that away before something. Look at all that beer. Mm -mm -mm. Bad. They're redoing the house over across from me. Right there. So we go about over here to where this big live oak tree is. Things gotta be a hundred years old. 
And we stick her down about right here. That's that. I think that'll be out of my way. All right. So, this is my uh, 1950s house. And my Mustang is gone. I'm stuck with this piece of shit. Okay, I'm sorry, baby. Anyway, so we'll be, the tree's gonna go right there by that column. That's what I had to go do. <laughs> and that i think somebody showed me that trick i think his name was john <laughs> anyway put you guys over here in my tree oh i gotta show you how i do this so um i i, I have to do it every year right just drive you a piece of like one and a half inch uh pvc pipe in the ground just drive it on in there use a piece of uh use a piece of uh the pole that i just showed you um to uh make the hole for it and then next time you put up your tree all you got to do is you know do that and i got a little stone beside it i've already kicked it off but um I put a piece of stone on there so leaves and dirt and lizards and stuff like that don't fall in there and meet their demise. So let me go grab my four trees. And y'all can watch traffic as you as you just uh as I go grab those real quick. Um they're gonna go right about in that area somewhere. at them from the street they get too close then um they're not able to see the words really that good you have to have them back from the, back from the view one, just one around to the one I love. anyway it don't matter we'll, we'll have to get a, a four shot of the house See where how it lines up with the Christmas tree. That's the only bad thing about doing these first. So. Coming back for the other two. Okay, that's all I can do today. Sorry, live stream's up. No, I'm just kidding. Tommy, how do you how do you change a when the wires don't match up? Well, that's a whole different video, I think. Uh, <laughs> woo, I don't know. Um, I look at where the wires go actually, um, from the old one to the new one, and then 
I put the red to like if it's got yellow but you don't have the yellow I put the red to the yellow I mean it's kind of nerve-wracking when that happens all right man go get some lunch don't fall Jeff now nah, I'm gonna try not to <laughs> I'm reading the prior comments. This is awesome. Demonetized. Yeah, probably. Oh, man. <laughs> probably. Oh, uh, wait. Well, I'm always demonetized when I fire up the music for this and put it on YouTube. So I only do about three videos every time I upload it to there. I cannot believe my battery is already 20%. All right, that's when I get the extension cord and the phone charger. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> I get a new phone. I guess my company's gonna have to pay for that too. Cause I can only stream for 44 minutes and 12 seconds apparently. Without power. the uh this should be charging oh john thank you man hopefully it does thanks for the shuckles well hopefully this dang um thing's working you getting her done try Yeah. Man, what the heck, though? Um, I'm trying my best. You're the best around. Man, that thing better be charging. I don't know how to check it. Hold on. There we go. Alright. It's charging. She's happy. Alright. Alright, one second. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go grab the uh, snowflakes now. Hmm. 
Hell yeah. That's why you got the camera on the tripod? I think so. I trip over my own stuff. I think so, yeah. All right. Uh, Is that your 1080? That's the iPhone, yeah. Oh, you're using your iPhone? Yeah. One of these has a screw in it. That goes on... No. It goes on the other one there. It has to be hung a certain way here. Huh? Well, I need to take the garbage out. They need to come and get the garbage. That's the problem. This is the way you do it. And, uh, Put the other one on this one over here. All right, anyway. What was that? I, st I hope that wasn't dog crap or something like from the neighbor's dog. I don't know, it felt slimy. And very suspicious, isn't it? Ugh. All right, now. Yeah. Trying to hang my Christmas lights, get shit on over here. All right, so yeah, snowflake one. Snowflake two. Yeah, got it? Alright, see? There you go. So my four trees. Alright, it's time to start bringing the wires for these four trees up to where the tree is because the tree holds the controller and everything and uh stuff like that. So um oh come on John, you you did it again? And <laughs> Chuck wants to keep the chicken in the pot. <laughs> you should see the dang turkey they sent me from my company this year, man. Things 30, 30 pounds at least. It's like, good lord. Usually it looks like a Cornish hen. I have black yellow wire. Yeah. Just like I would. Yeah, usually the red wire goes to that. Like, you probably have, like, two blues and two uh, yellows in the ballast. And what I do, I think the two blues go to the two reds, if you have two blues. If you only have one blue, uh, put one red to one blue. And then the, I think it matches up from there, if I remember right, for the ballast thing. So... Love you too, John. No homo. You know you're my priest. You're part of the choir boys. You know. <laughs> Woo. 
I gotta get... <laughs> oh, man. It wasn't dog crap, it was something. No. Oh. I don't know what that is, man. It's disgusting. Anyway. Um... Well, hopefully I'll remember that when I go stepping back over there again. I know what the heck that was. But you don't want to step in it, I'll tell you that much. Um, let's see. Whew. All right. I shouldn't even be winded. That, I literally did nothing. <laughs> but, uh. Uh, you'd think my roommate's gonna be it probably was it's probably... <laughs> I don't know what that was John I think my roommate's gonna be upset that I put this beer right here on his car <laughs> uh, nah you don't mind I would have uh, John uh, for a rental through my through my company i got a rental and it was a mustang twin turbo mustang convertible and i went up to georgia to go see my family it was it was really great how was everybody else's uh thanksgiving by the way I should got to shoot a little bit of guns. I haven't done that in a long time. Oh, demonetize. Shit. Oh, demonetize again. <laughs> you just stayed home? I don't do it in the UK. You don't have Thanksgiving in the UK? Really? Like, seriously? Or are you just joking? There's always a day to just sit down and be thankful for something. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a national holiday, but. Wow. Well, I guess because, I mean, y'all didn't take land away from the Indians, so. You know. We gotta be thankful that they gave us all that corn for this plant, this, this whole entire continent. Oh, y'all have Black, Black Friday? Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm demonetized for the Titan in the background, by the way. <laughs> well, I didn't say Nissan. It could be just Titan anything, right? Yeah. Christmas is okay. I mean, I I got to I got to actually work at least 4 hours on Christmas as manager on duty, but I I don't phew. Christmas usually doesn't pop off around here until noon anyway, so. Um, should I go get those extension cords and start running them, I guess? I don't know. What do y'all think? Because this can be a long-ass live stream if I got, you know, it's my iPhone's plugged into a power cord. I'm trying to I'm trying to invent a nightmare yet. Yeah. I I can only imagine like having your own business. Being your own manager, but almost sounds like a vacation, but it's not. It I guarantee you. It's a nightmare. Dealing with the government issues too. Whatever those are, like pulling permits if you have to pull permits or whatever. I mean, oh, well, thank you, Space. Thank you. Um, I haven't done a live stream in a while. Sorry, guys. Uh, since I did my breaks, I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's all right. I figured out what that was, too. Baking grease. I figured it out. Yes. I'm going to kill my roommate. He dumped bacon grease over there. I was wondering why my... 
leaves are sticking to my man god darn it <clears throat> well, I'm gonna go grab those uh, extension cables I guess and get those all figured out No, I did not fall in a hole. I'm still here. I, I just went to go get the extension cords. It's okay. It's okay, okay? I'll tuck you in later, okay? <laughs> Got to go get the cables. Right, bro. So everybody sees what I'm doing. I'm trying to get everything in there. These cables are, again, from Holiday Coro. Everything I buy is from Holiday Coro. I don't do the Ray Wu or whatever because the shipping is like $800 for $25 worth of life. You know what? I think I know what's on those wires. It's slimy. And it has a flowery smell on it. And you know why? Who's going to guess this? Why did, why did Jeff purposely put slime on the wires? And what is it? It's not slime. Uh, close. But, no, uh, they're waterproof cables. I mean, they got, you know, rubber seals in them, so. Need to link up with YouTube with Discord. Huh. Yeah, well, Discord's gonna announce that I'm doing a live stream. Maybe. Or, so. Um, no, uh, my cat... I'll give you a hint. That was the hint. Diabetic grease. <laughs> yeah, diabetic grease. That that's that's exactly it. You you got me, man. Hey. My hands can't touch electrical wires unless it has a grease. <laughs> well, not a lot really, but it's condensed but a lot. Like I just uh at the beginning of the stream it, uh, each one of those trees has a hundred lights on it, so, um, but you, you times that by three because they're RGB, so. Each one of them also, if you, if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll go grab the tree real quick.
Each one of them is just a uh, piece of piece of uh, coro, but there's two lights in the back, and that tells me like where my center point is. Well, the stake does, but this tells me that the lights are on because when I'm running the show, these stay blue because I don't use all 100 pixels. So I kind of lied to you there a little bit. These pixels here are in my software. I know them out so they don't light up. But I got them right now where they just stay on where they're blue in the back. So that's the most unoffensive color that I could think of. Like, um, and by offensive, I mean like red. It doesn't show up in the show. So when this is sitting like this, all these all these bulbs right here are shining outside. So, but I can look out my window and tell that this this tree is running because I really can't see the lights as as much as you think you could. So I gotta I gotta answer my question before I put the next extension cords on. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Did anybody get it? I said something about a cat. KY. Yeah, I love sticking them up my... Hey, stop it. Uh, no. <laughs> well, <it's... laughs> um, Alright, so... The reason I put the slime on it... I forgot I did this last year. It's not slime. It's Dawn dish soap. And it keeps my cats from being curious to chew the the cords it actually does work guys it really does work and so if you got a cat at home that chews uh cords electrical cords or whatever he has never chewed a 110 volt electrical cord but he loves phone chargers he loves phone chargers so um at my house i um also some of my phone chargers have you know uh, Dawn disc soap on them. You gotta coat them like one time and it'll seep into the plastic or something and they won't be interested in it anymore. So, Jeff Grant, what's up, buddy? Well, my, yeah, CC is not that dumb. That's a, that's a smart cat, but my Russian blue, he's Russian, so he be putin everywhere. No, <laughs> that's a bad joke. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I had the beer break, so can I have a smoke break, guys? Jeff drinks and he smokes? Oh my god. You are not allowed to step foot in my church. <laughs> Yep, Russian Blue um, bought them for $25 from the shelter. The only cat that was in there going, meow, meow, meow. It's like, I want that one. Then didn't. Oh, bull. Y'all got beer over there. I just got to send me some. What are my neighbors doing? Oh my god. Told them if they want to be on live stream, come over here. Oh my god, Chase driving. Watch out. <laughs> that don't matter. $5 a pint. Wow. Huh. Dang, gum. Let me let me get these uh, other four cords going this way. Months and then I'm the one that's gonna have to be 
helping you because you're hurting. Yeah, so they gotta be moved back a little bit, so. No, neighbor's not beating his old lady. Having a little argument, though. Um, she's deaf, so. I don't know why he's talking. She can't hear him. Good for her, I guess. Hey, but y'all only get the best on this channel, okay? Only the best. Because it's the best around. Do -do 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 -do. We'll figure that out when we uh, get to it. But they all need to come in closer in my yard because the cords are only, what, 10 feet or so? So, that's, that's about it. I gotta leave a small gap in between the two middle trees because the mega tree is going right behind them. So you don't want those impeding 
you know, because I'm printing the pictures and stuff on the tree. So that's something to look out for when you're setting up your display. Um, let's do the last extension cord. Let's get this on the road, guys. All right, let's do the um, let's do the snowflakes extension cords. I'll do this one first by by the window here. So. And by the way, I mentioned this before in the in the live stream. These are the ones with the F amps on because I had problems um, not last year but the year before. Um, with uh, running from here to the controller for the tree. So these are called F amps. They're also on Holiday Coral, or you can go to Falcon.com. I think FalconChristmas.com and order these as well. Pretty cool. Keep you from uh, having troubles uh, running longer distances. Because believe it or not, the distance from where the tree's going to be, see the little white pipe, I already mentioned this, a little white pipe right under the bushes over here. Um, it, uh, it, uh, almost, doesn't look like it, but almost 25 feet from there to there. Why I have this longer extension? So, and an F amp. So, don't run your stuff over 25 feet, guys. If you're gonna do this RGB stuff, you can't just. It's not like a, you know. And don't run more than like I think two sets of pixels, which would be like 50 and 50. So that'd be 100. I wouldn't do that either. Um, max would be 100 that I would do. At 100% brightness, by the way. So, just to let you know, I'm putting some technical, technical stuff out there. Um, A Team Adam needs to be in here, is he? He'll probably watch it later, I guess. Yeah, or he's got something to do. I'm pretty sure. Yes, they do. Um, space, they do dance to the music. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to be late on answering your questions, guys. Sorry about that. Yep. That's what they do. Um, at the beginning of the stream, I showed a couple different controllers that I have and, and how they work. Or, well, how they're utilized, I guess you could say. It. Um, but, yeah. Um, got an FM transmitter. Um, I got the sign out there. In the yard, it's uh, right there. Um, it says tune in to uh, 88.5. I just set the uh, FM transmitter to that station, and that's the one I chose because I'm not punching all those lights back through that dang sign. <laughs> that seems very cool. Yeah, you look up a Larson's Christmas show. That guy needs to be disqualified from any competition, dude. Because his his stuff is so stupid, crazy. Millions and millions of dollars went into that. Um, and he owns a freaking castle, you know. That's the one I watched, yes. That's the one that got me actually... Actually, no. The one that got me into doing Christmas light was Matt Johnson. 
and he did that dubstep i think it was back in 2015. god money i was like i got to get me some of that but it's a lot of work it's a lot of work uh not just setting up the mic um setting up the lights is probably the easiest part it's the sequencing of the music um, I'm lucky enough that I don't, I'm, I'm going to admit this on the live stream, I do not sequence the Christmas tree. Um, the Christmas tree is, uh, I, I buy a holidaysequences.com. I go there and um, they sell them for 30 37 bucks for a 12 by 50 tree, which is what I have. And then I think $49 for a 12 by 16 tree which is um i think at a team adam just bought him one i was gonna see if if he needs any help or anything you know hit me up bro um but yeah pretty cool it is still you know setting up christmas lights just in a different way really um so I got everything that's from last year. When I hook it up, it should just play last year's sequence, really. But I got three new songs, and all I have to do is upload those songs, and bam, they go they go right up. So. All tree holds the controller like, let me get the other one up and I'll, I'll start doing the tree Yuck. That slime all over that stuff. <sighs> Damn, we got eight people watching? Really? Give it a shout out. Oh, A Team Adam is in the house. What's up, Adam? I'm sorry, I, I can't. <laughs> nah. There are in Illinois, went to that house. Yeah, th it's pretty cool to do this kind of stuff. You know, but man, can it be a pain in the butt sometimes? Um, I'm gonna try to film everything I do today, setting up, and maybe um, tomorrow I'll be doing another live stream, guys. Uh, getting all this stuff uh, poked in and stuff like that. You know, getting crap dancing uh, to music and stuff. Um, because I got to do this. I probably upload a video in between the two live streams of what I'm doing on on the um, on the computer side of things and and how that looks and stuff and showing you how how I hook up the Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it's not on my internet. Like that's another thing, Adam. If you're listening, dude, get it off the internet. You somehow. Um, it, it's kind of uh, confusing for people, but um, when you put 
when you put a Raspberry Pi on, you can make it like 10.0.0. Like over here, I got Comcast. It'd be like 10.0.0. Well, I would put 10.0.1.206. That would remove it from your your thing. And don't forget my Discord. Links in the uh, chat uh, if you want to join a Discord. I, I go in there all the time. It's a drunken stream, guys. It's fun. Um, for me, anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... But yeah, you just, uh, it's, it's not all that complicated. There's software out there that, that makes it really, really easy to do, do this stuff. So I, I need to drink this beer before it gets hot or bugs get in it. Cause this is Florida. This is Florida. So I guess I'll go grab the pole real quick guys. And, um, And the lights. So, Adam, you still in here? You might want to see this part. That's... <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. All right. All right. All right. Let me go grab that pole. So, uh, so that's where my pole goes. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> you can go ahead, beat you to it, buddy. Um, but I'm gonna have to take that back down because I might have to borrow my neighbor's ladder again because it's tilted a little bit. But I have a little eyelet right there that I wrap a string around the topper. So let me uh, grab a topper. Shoot. How did I do it last? Yeah, last time I just put the topper on and then just put the pole in the ground. So. Let me go get the topper and the lights. All that. So that's that's cool that I have that like little decorative stone stuff and that's like up everything else is gonna be on the bottom of the tree 
because everything's still hooked up top on the top of the tree so i might have to get a ladder bar my neighbors um ladder because i don't really have a ladder poor jeff doesn't have a ladder uh that's not because i'm poor it's just because i don't have storage for it <laughs> uh, so yeah let's let's take down that uh conduit and we'll get that done All right, so I use, uh, y'all gonna laugh at this. Uh, these are PVC pipe hangers. I use some of these and I use some tent stakes like this. It's so sandy here in Florida, but um, yeah, I saw I got a whole bundle of those and I had some like these little wire things for, for the, thing but these ain't gonna work <laughs> you knew they would not oh, there's one of my extension cords made out of ac cable thermostat cable broadcast this thing oh. one more in my army shirt i'm getting dirty i'm in the service today over here for a second get you a little bit closer in the action what's going on Jeff what is going on okay. like I said I have somewhat of a stone wall back here but if I just fell over I don't know usually this every year You want to stake this down because if you don't, when you start putting zip ties on these. Last year, I just cut the zip ties. 
probably reuse them, but you don't be putting zip ties underneath this conduit and pulling tight on this tree, making sure everything's tight like that on the tree. As you do that, the tree's gonna wanna come this way, so I might have to get my rope and tie off again. Yeah, I mean, I've done that every year. I've always had to do it. It's nothing new, but. All right, can I take a beer break for a second? Anybody? Thumbs up? Yes? Can take a beer break? Just a little one? Yep, okay, thank you, Space. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. I hate the fact that YouTube does not keep these comments on the dang screen. Yeah, that's the, that, I, by the way, yes, that's the neighbor, yep. Absolutely. Probably coming over here just a while ago to tell me that, and I was like, well, if you don't want to be on live stream, don't come over here. Oh, you live stream? Oh, okay. It's like, yeah, I mean, this is a good time to live stream, right? I mean, I'm doing shit, I'm, you know, setting up Christmas lights and stuff. Fun times. You know, I always say this every year, and I almost said it just now. Jeff, if you were smart, you would go ahead and put the controller boxes on the tree. But, no. No, 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 no. I did that one year. It was, it just, this is probably the, the easiest to do it. You know what, I might start firing up and making my own beer again. That was fun. I made some, I brought, I brought like, I don't know, 20, 20 beers to work one day. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you guys have at it. Even bought the little six packs. So I could take them home with them. Because I had like 10 gallons of beer that I made. I don't know why I made 10 gallons of beer. That's just stupid. Nobody can drink that much by themselves or with even four people, probably. But I had them all kegged and stuff. So the next time I made beer, I just. I bought a crap load of bottles and just bottled the beer. So that was, but it's fun making beer. It, it really is. Yummy. You might put that one's going that way. And on that, there's a root right here. You go right past the root. Oh shit. What is this? This is not supposed to be there. some people over there looking at me like I'm a freaking idiot. Well, I kind of am. But you know what? If you were in California, nobody gives a shit if you talk to yourself. Right? Or in New York. New York, everybody's got a freaking selfie stick walking down the dang road, talking to themselves. And like, oh yeah, this. yeah. I just I, I started not giving a crap. Actually, space just did not. I started like yeah, I'm filming. What's up? 
so but you know the sad part about this right now i'm in a world of hurt because i thought i had a whole packet of it's 14 degrees here yes but i'm sweating right now see so um oh wow look at that how the heck did i do that Wow, look at that. That's cool. I can change the camera angle. Wow. Makes it look like I'm standing over there. Look at what is it? Bam. Bam. You're gonna go finish. Yep. A team, thanks for uh, dropping by. Today I'm probably not gonna be like putting the uh, stuff on. Um because I gotta go grab uh some uh zip ties apparently so but i might just go do that my my room i, I live with a roommate so he he's probably gonna go to the store i'll be like hey can we just go get some zip ties or something so go pick up some zip ties and then zip tie this thing down and put the controller boxes on and then tomorrow's live stream i i hope will be you know Showing showing you how I hook it all up and and then a uh, thing, but if y'all still want to hang, it, I mean, this is not the end of the live stream. I'm just saying. Um, but thanks, A Team. Gosh, I hate this chat. This uh, thing where it doesn't stay on the screen. What the hell? Just stay on the screen. We need a finished product vote. Who had the best display? <laughs> oh. Yeah, mine's not the best display, I'll tell you, but it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, um, if it's Larson's y'all are talking about, oh my God, dude, that, that is the craziness right there. The Larson's Christmas light show. Holy crap. Woo. L-A-R-S-E-N, I think is how it's, it's said or spelled. I was trying to switch cameras, but whatever. So you don't have to stare at the dirt. Just who who's no longer going? Are you kidding me? You went to Larson's light show? Oh god. That is crazy, isn't it? We're talking about the same one with the castle, right? With the drone, he, like, last year he had drone footage and everything. Playing ping pong or something. Uh, yeah, I bet it is, dude. Because you can't film these lights. That's another thing. You need a camera that you can take exposure all the way down. Or... You can use X lights to dim all your lights down, like really, really dim, because every bit of light just screws with any camera that you have, and it just looks like a blurry mess. It's really hard to film your Christmas lights um, when, uh, when the camera does not do anything for justice. Golly, really? They direct cars onto the field next door. Holy crap. I, I believe it. I believe it. That is that is just nuts. That guy has way too much. I don't know who Mr. Larson is. But that dude's a millionaire. That's for sure. No doubt. And loves Christmas. Because... I, I think I went over this, and I, I think other people that have bought these kind of lights, 
each one of these strips that's hanging off this tree right now is $25. So going up the tree, $25. Going down the tree, another $25. That's $50, $20, $50, $20, $50. So it's an expensive hobby, <laughs> but a very addicting hobby. Because <laughs> once you do it right the first time, then you're going to be like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that, and this, that, and other. Yeah. But man, yeah, I need to go get lock straps. I guess. I mean, I can. I guess I can mount the the control box. Well, my Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I guess I could go ahead and hook things up because what if it rains tonight? My connections are all exposed. Oh, you you play flight sim all the time? You um ever uh what's the name? Air Force Proud 95? <laughs> I watch that guy all the time. Yep. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> We got a 747 inverted right now. Come maintain 3000. Expect vectors for 36 left when we approach. It's like, uh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> uh, have you ever played X, X Plane? It's the most realistic flight simulator out there. Like, you really have to do your pre-flight checklist and all that stuff i think it's called x-plane yep yep that one i i downloaded it one time and man i could not i couldn't even get the damn plane off the ground digital combat simulator that would be awesome i have to check that out so i'm gonna change scenery here so you gonna watch the cars go by Back to the four trees again. Maybe we'll catch something interesting. Maybe a wreck or something. <clears throat> Bombs, missile, and dogfight. Oh, wait. No, I have the combat simulator. Doesn't it have like a lot of Russian uh, jibber-jabber in it? What was that I downloaded? Um, that's pretty dang realistic because you had to, you could drop bombs. Yeah, you could drop bombs um, in intervals. Like you have to set the intervals of the bombs drop and stuff. Yeah, I remember downloading that. I want to get that again. Yep, the SU-25T, everything's in like Russian and stuff and it's like, like, it doesn't say pull up. It says something. I forget what it was in Russian. <laughs> I went through all the tutorials, but I lost the uh, disc a long time ago. Uh, it wasn't... That was back when... Um, it's probably on Steam. I can probably just re-download it on Steam. But Hopefully it's on Steam. I don't know. But dang it, I think... Oh, you know what I forgot? Guys, you should have reminded me. The dang star on the top. <laughs> I forgot the star on the top. Now I have to go get a ladder. Because I'm probably not... Well, I haven't attached a tree yet, so... We can do that, I guess, real quick. But my lights are going to be popping out at, at the top. I don't need that because I'm trying to do this without getting a ladder. Uh, I got to borrow it from my neighbor. which. But uh, yeah, I forgot the 
star on the top up there, right there. This, this tripod is clicky. Maybe I should have, you know what? I should have brought out my DJ Osmo. I have a DJ Osmo Pro with a gimbal and all that. I should have did that. Just mounted that to the tripod. Not like it matters, but but it has like this little remote and stuff I can use. Huh. Should we try to get that star on the top? We'll have to take the pole back out of the ground, but your votes matter right now. Should we get the star on there? We got six people. We're voting for the star. We got one vote up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it will. Yes, put the star on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I think that's uh the majority wins already. Cuz I vote yes too. So three people said yes. That's half the majority, so Hmm. Well, that bug tasted nice. Mm. Extra protein. There's something I gotta tell you about this star. Yeah. Here's the extension cable. <sighs> when you buy this star from Holiday Coro, if you so desire, please make sure you do not order the flat pixels. If you order the flat pixels, you're gonna have problems when they're popping out. They don't go all the way through. I screwed up and ordered this is another $50 worth of pixels, see? The daisy chain right there. And if I can get you the information on this, but they come from Holiday Coro. There you go. Right there. So, 0. 0.72 watts. So, when people are like, man, I bet your electric bill is freaking... <laughs> man, your blow dryer uses more than my whole damn thing is. Again, just like the tree, I gotta make sure all the pixels are in. We do all this crap. And I hot glued some of them in just to keep all the other ones in. But either way, this thing is bright. See how thick that coro is right there. Freaking nuts. But yeah, I guess we're gonna have to lay her back down before I do that. Gently put my star down and put the extension cable on. I remember doing that last year and messing that up. And had to still get a ladder to do put the extension cable on after I tied down a tree. So. Good thing I didn't have zip ties this year. Cause I probably already, would have already done a tree. All right, on, on. Oh. oh shoot, slow it down, bud. Slow it down, slurp, slow it down.
things way more than you think they do. Oh, how do you like my hair? Oh, Jesus. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Yes, buddy. Don't make my watch a lot easier, I tell you. Uh oh. Awesome. I have to make sure it's dark. Just a little hole that. You know what? Regardless, I think I'm going to be alive. If anybody's curious about um, how deep that hole is, <laughs> it's about 24 inches. So. Just to let you know, uh, if you're in windier climates, you might want to do something different. But there she is. The star's a little crooked because I don't have it zip tied, but I do have this little extension right here. I can just reach for the chair and I need to just straighten it up and zip tie it to the pole. And the star's good to go. So I straighten it up. Like I said, straighten it up a little bit and then. And then I got the extension cable that goes to the uh, controller. Coming down, hopefully, somewhere. Yeah, right here. And this side uh, for the scope. So, and I haven't done this yet, but y'all are going to think this is funny. You're going to think, gonna think this is funny because. I bought a whole kit of that, Adam. I bought a whole kit. Sorry about that. I hope that didn't uh, just kill my live stream there. Because that sucks. I was trying to show. I don't. I have all this fancy extension cables and I've had. Uh, okay, cool. Um. I have all this fancy extension cables that now are going down in price and stuff. But when I first made this tree, I didn't have any cords. I didn't have any extension cords and you had to solder the pigtails. I think somebody in this live stream right now is doing that. <laughs> well, if you order from Holiday Coro, their pixels now come um, in all black, like stuff. And when they come, you don't have to solder. You don't have to solder on these pigtails. I had to do that. Um, and got, I mean, the heat strength really is not standing up after three years. It's really starting to look gritty, but um, different connectors, uh, just crazy stuff getting females and males mixed up. I don't know how you do that, but I did it one year. Um, really pain in the butt, but. I'll show you the new pixels that Holiday Coro is now having. And they're on my mini trees over here. Fuck. Talk about a call dropped. Alright, anyhow. So here's the new pixels. As you can see, they're bright and shiny. Dang it. What is wrong with this thing? Y'all still here? Dang it, just gonna unplug it. The extension cord keeps weighing it down. Alright, anywho. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious. No soldering. All weatherproof connections. Very nice. No soldering. All weatherproof. And... I said, well, Jeff, I only need, I only need 20 pixels. Well, you can just clip them off and just put it in software if you want. Cut the whole thing. Or in software, 
you can actually nold out the pixels that you don't use see all those pixels on the ground right there they're not used in this in this display they're i tell it i tell the software one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve count the pixels i tell the software don't use these first pixels in the strand so um they don't even light up so i don't have to cut the cord i can use them on a different different display if i if i want to at the wrong size heat shrink what my dumb ass forgot the zip ties because <laughs> i was gonna have this all up and then tomorrow's stream was just gonna be like computer stuff but i think tomorrow's stream is probably gonna begin with a um with a tree well like i said i'll probably go out a little bit later today And if I do, I, I'll give y'all a, uh, I'll give y'all a heads up on YouTube. I'll post it or something. If I'm doing a live stream, at least two hours in advance, kind of like what I did today. But um, I'll go over this uh, this sign that I have over here, which is uh, also bought from Holiday Coral. So it's my tune in tune to 88.5 and yes guys again i'm gonna have to say this those christmas lights in the back are just regular christmas lights i bought some red ones and some white ones they're led but they don't dance to music or anything they're just analog lights to tell people to tune into you know 88.5 but after you're done punching those through those dang holes right there see this is a template. I can make any number. Yes, Ricky, I am in Florida. Um, but you can make any number up to a nine over here, I think, because that's how the radio works or whatever. And then eight, eight. So I, I did the easiest option and went eight, eight, you know, 88.5. And I think there's, 500 lights on this thing i don't know this more to run than the whole entire show does so all right we're gonna step back real quick and see what we got accomplished we'll jump over the ditch and not get run over by anybody in the street this is usually where i go to watch the christmas lights is right here we got this nice little pad right here but i think i'm getting there I think it's going. Looking kind of like last year's display. Starts a little crooked, obviously, but um, yeah. Not too shabby. I think that's good from a street view. I think we got it. All right. Let's not get hit by any cars. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's it's actually a nice day here in Florida, by the way. I'm gonna put y'all back on the tripod just just so you know. Only if you had two speakers on stand. I could do that, but my neighbors, man, they've been uh, rebuilding this house over here. That that fence didn't exist, or that roof on that house right there. It was crazy. That's uh, when I got the big dumpster. The, the guy that lived there before just... So they're pouring money. They got like nice little red shutters. I don't know if y'all can see that over the fence. But they have done a lot. New windows, air conditioning systems, all sorts of stuff. Um, and the guy that owns that house or bought the house like literally lives right over here. Like, so that's his house, and that's his house, too. It's right there. So, it's not too bad. It's my neighbor's house. Right there. So. And it's not a bad neighborhood. Not at all. What the fuck what? <laughs> and 
if I had um, uh, my landlord, actually, because I rent this house. I mean, that's why it's not like the top of the line house. I mean, obviously, but um, where are you going to find a four bedroom house? I mean, for 800 bucks a month. She owns the other one down here, down the street, and it's $1,200 a month. It's the same damn house. It's the same setup. It's it's literally the same setup and everything. It might have hardwood floors. I'm not sure. But, yeah, that's... Um, do now. I don't know, right? No, I'm not going to do the Captain Jack Sparrow impression anymore. I think I burned that one out. <laughs> A week on rent. What? No way. Nine hundred pounds. I was looking at like um apartments and stuff one day and they wanted they wanted um Seven or eight hundred dollars for a studio apartment. This was in like, well, I was looking because it's literally was the apartments right next to where I worked. Like, I wouldn't even have to drive, so I save money on gas, I guess, right? So I thought that would be a good idea, but then they went up there and it's like, I think it was seven forty nine a month or something. Shit. Yeah, you pay six hundred a week, bro. Man, I paid one hundred sixty dollars for a Mustang GT convertible to go see my mom for three days. Living that motherfucker. Gee. <laughs> oh my God. Holy crap! Yeah, no way. Yeah, that is cheap for, yeah. What, the $600 a week, but the Mustang convertible was um, through my company, Perks. I use my company, Perks, to uh, drive it. I'm allowed to use the Perks and stuff. Talking about pounds, way more. Oh yeah, well pounds like a dollar fifty almost. I think now, dollar doesn't mean anything anymore. <laughs> it's kind of like our pennies. Or what are your all uh, over in the UK? What is it? Pence? I'm we'll calling pence. Are they worth anything? Coins? Okay. Got an air conditioning guy that lives two doors down from me. He saw me out here one day changing a capacitor and He's like, hey, you need any help? I'm like, nah, it's just a cat, man. Not worth the thing, only good luck. <laughs> true. True that. That's definitely true. So I got my, I mean, the stream is going to probably end here soon, guys, but, um, because I don't have zip ties, so I have to go get zip ties. I'm not just gonna leave my iPhone sitting out here plugged up in the yard, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I mean, not like right now. I I can hang out still a little bit. And heck, who knows? I might have some in my dang car. Actually, I might want to go check real quick. Never know. Never know.
So, may need a new washer. Huh. Well, just a washer, like to wash your clothes with? Or are you talking about the coins? <laughs> Drill a hole through it. <laughs> or wait, they already have. Does UK UK coins have holes in them, right? Don't they? Some of them. You could probably use them for a washer. I, I didn't even think about that. Wow. I used a um, I used a nickel and a piece of soft patch rubber one day to patch a a leak on a stem. Cause I need it to be rubber sealed and I put a pipe clamp over it the corporate guy came and man that's the most damn impressive thing I've ever seen what the hell a nickel and a piece of rubber I'm like yeah Samsung washing machine oh yeah man I don't know sometimes they'll give you those error codes and there's secret diagnostic menus and stuff you can get into you know Yeah, it's not a bad deal. With the, the electronic things, they're trying to make it a little bit more... A um, little bit more easier. Really? Yeah, all it does is going to tell you, like, pump or F1 or F5 or something. But, I mean, once you decipher all the information, yeah, you might, like... My neighbor, he had a uh, F4 code. She's like, fuck, I told it down. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, it's done probably, son. <laughs> it's, it's done, son. <laughs> yep. Oh, my goodness. But, oh. Oh, man. Look what happened. This mount, this... It's not even a mount. I'm just shoving y'all in between the stick and stuff on the tripod, by the way. But, yeah, yeah I'm about to hit the ground there. It's a ghetto rig up, but it works. I don't like the way iPhone zooms in everything. Okay, there we go. Because I'm touching the screen, Jeffrey. Well, that's cool that you can do that on live stream, though, you know? Can't can't really do that on a piece. Well, I guess you could. Did you get the lift working? Uh, you talking about that blue lift that um, I had at the other property? The lift. Hmm. It was it a man lift? Like the blue Jenny? Yeah, 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 yeah. We we got it working, but our regional maintenance technician says it's not safe to operate under the conditions that the bypasses have been bypassed or the safeties have been bypassed. Like, you can still take it up there with the outriggers not being in it. Um, stuff like that has been bypassed on that unit uh, prior to me working there. Then... I bypassed, the only thing I bypassed was the, there's a four AA batteries in that thing that is for the, the, uh, the valve to let somebody down. And I was like, well, screw that. I'll just wire these two wires together and use the battery power. So, because it was all corroded and stuff and it's just an old lift, but. It scares the hell out of me, and I'm the only one crazy enough to get all the way up on the top of that thing. So, I've extended that thing all the way out, and man, it's like you're on a rubber band. It's like wang, wang, wang every every move you make. Yeah, there's an emergency um, release button on the bottom, and that's what the batteries were for. Is to Make sure that valve released the hydraulic pressure to let it down slowly. So that was that was one of them that I bypassed. 
on that lift, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm having my smoke break now, again. We pressed the emergency button, didn't work. Yep, see, there's probably like a four AA batteries in there that. Yeah, because the worst thing to do is go up and not being able to come down. So either somebody has to get a wrench and on the side of the motor, maybe let out a little hydraulic fluid really, really slowly, or you're gonna drop like a rock. It's the real dangerous way of doing it, but or somebody needs to know that, you know, there's there is a actual backup in that thing, and the battery's got to be replaced or something. And same thing with scissor lifts too. They got like this little battery backup thing. Sometimes it's nine volt or whatever, but it's just a solenoid that lets you down. Must the hydraulic fluid out slowly. Oh man, some looks like somebody rented my car. Oh no, and that's not the same way. <laughs> Remember way back, um dang it, YouTube, I hate this crap. I'm trying to read your comment and it keeps disappearing. You remember way back well, in my first year doing radios show i seen two fire engines and two guys were stuck in between the two floors yeah i think i wow that that was way back um that was your video i think so yeah 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 Yeah, the same thing with like elevators. They have a uh, manual release button. Not a button, but it's a, uh, most of them do if they're hydraulic. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? If I, if I had a, if I could get my f foot in the door somewhere, I probably would go like a HVAC. But you know, AK HVAC, he said something around the lines of, "Oh, I don't want to do attic crawls. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that." You damn right, I don't want to do that. I. I I don't, I have a phobia, I mentioned this before on my other live streams, I think, I have a phobia of insulation, I don't know what it is, it, I won't eat cotton candy because of it, like, damn it, you don't know what it's made of, like, the shit that's in this 1950 year, year old house is like, I don't know if it's cellulose or asbestos, you know, I was, uh, but I smoke cigarettes, so who cares, right? <laughs> yeah i could i could probably work on cars but i don't have too much knowledge on the newer cars nowadays all the computer gadgets and crap Yeah, they're... you take it to the Ford dealership, they hook a dang computer up to your dang car, and you're like, oh, yeah, okay, fan belt needs to be replaced. It's like, well, we know that, right? <laughs> damn car don't run. Yep. I guess it makes it easier for mechanics and, and 
time consuming, I guess. I don't think it's that much time consuming either. I mean, it, it doesn't tell you exactly where the problem is. I understand. <coughs> yeah. Oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. I do know that they, they hone it down to a certain area that you need to be looking at, like hot and cold. It's too hot, so let's check the thermostat and blah, blah, blah. Evac leak could be anything um, from your carburetor, you know, to wherever. I was part of the team. Oh, again, YouTube. What the heck? I'm moving a gearbox. You just added two two power supplies and another CG fifteen hundred. To what? <laughs> Your tree? Just a tree? I thought you had just a tree. Or did you just buy that? Took six hours to move swing arm bolt. Oh, shoot, man. That sucks. Yeah, without zip ties, I'm pretty much screwed right now. So, I got a... Lowe's is like three miles away. Oh, my God. Oh, you ordered them? <laughs> All right, man. I'm telling you, watch watch your bank account, bro. <laughs> you're going to... You're going to be like, oh, I need these, I need these, I need those, I need this. It's addicting. It's going to be addicting as all hell. All right. Well, you know what? I think it's time for me to have a refill. Oh yeah, all right, we're back. Gotta have that refill, here we go, live on stream. Oh yeah, cracking up. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? Um, let me see. Stepping on this cord, it's gonna pull my phone off. There we go. Hey, greetings from America. Greetings from Germany. Oh, you got a setup? That's cool. You know what? Space also I need a I need a um not rebuild my PC, but I'm just gonna have to format it. But I'm not going to do that because even though as irritating as whatever, I got something on my computer. I think it's Windows Shell. And it's it's uh, blanking out my icons on my computer. It's really irritating. All of them look like text documents and stuff like that. It's not a virus. I think it's the Shell thing that, that I installed. Um, to make it look like Windows 7 when it's Windows 10. Because I love Windows 7, not Windows 10. I hate all the gum wrappers. And, and click here, click here, click here, click here, click here. I'm like, dang it. Can I just click here and go to settings? You know, like, still don't know the shortcuts probably, but. Um. 
I was trying to switch the camera view, but it's not. I can put some, uh, ooh, some filters in there. Ooh, stop it, Ron, stop. And when I flip like this, it flips my uh, view. It doesn't even flip the camera. That's stupid. Oh, issues are booting. Oh. What? What is it doing? Okay, here, here you go. Oh, is it a uh, store bought computer? Was it was it not built by you? Because I might be able to help you out with a secret menu I know about. Hmm. Might be a dead BIOS battery or something. I don't know. Um... But for anybody out there that's listening, if you have a store-bought computer like a Dell or whatever name brand it is, when you buy it from the manufacturer, Windows is already installed on it, correct? So they put it on a section of hard drive. They consolidate and partition a section of hard drive for that computer so it always has Windows on it. You don't have to go and buy Windows and reformat and do all that. So what you do is you, as you do this, if you can get to the desktop, hold down the shift button, go to the start menu, go to shut down or, rest or restart rather. When it restarts, it keep holding that shift button as long as it takes till you get to this blue page and it'll say repair windows. Once you're at that menu, uh, you can go to advanced settings and stuff like that. And it'll say reinstall Windows, fresh install, whatever. You'll lose all your data doing that. Uh, but it will bring it all the way back to factory. Like the day you bought the computer. So, a lot of people don't know that. And that's what you're paying Geek Squad to do. And it literally takes them 10 minutes to do it. It's like, your computer's ready. Three hours later, they're like, your computer's ready. Mm-hmm. Bet it is. You hourly employees, you. My blue screen on the very first start. Hmm. So you have a blue screen from the start. Then hold down um, F8, I think it is, as your computer starts. Yep, like the day you got it, it's going to be like, um, if it's a home, I mean, if you built it or have formatted it recently and taken, okay, easiest, the easiest way to put this is when you go to my, when you go to my computer or computer, um, does it say recovery? Like C drive, D drive, and then D drive says recovery on it. If it does, then yes, you can hold down the shift button, go to restart, keep holding that thing down until you see, till it all restarts, till it shuts down, comes back up, and restarts. And it should give you the uh, blue screen that says uh, fix, diagnose, troubleshoot blah 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 system restore all sorts of stuff it boots you into um, your recovery partition mm -hmm. that's a bugless free beer right there bro <laughs> Um. 
Yeah, but I, I think it's only if they have a recovery partition installed on their computer. If you home built your computer, then sometimes people don't put the the Windows is not installed as a recovery on a computer. But like if you buy a Dell, a Compact, or whatever freaking name brand, they automatically, I think, to this day, yeah, see, I did too, so I don't have a recovery partition, so it don't work for mine. But um, that's why uh, computers don't come with a recovery disk anymore. Most most computers don't even have freaking disk drives anymore. So. Yeah, I know. I, I just format, and that's what I do. So. Yeah, and by the way, I the reason this is... It's kind of like a pause stream right now. I'm just chatting with you guys. Um, in the middle of my yard as people fly by, but... Um, uh... <laughs> I forgot uh all right space all right man good to see you back uh see you back on man um anyway i forgot the zip ties i thought i had a whole packet in that box and i don't so gotta have my zip ties to zip it to the uh base there for the tree so epic fail and then I'll do a live stream again tomorrow, guys. Don't don't worry about that. I ain't got nothing to do right now. Drink beer, smoke cigarettes, talk to you guys. That's it. All right, man. All right. Well, uh, probably do the same same time uh, around twelve o'clock. That way, it's like in midday, so people can get in here. You know. That way it doesn't matter if it's Eastern Standard Time or whatever. Everybody probably should be awake. I definitely wouldn't be if I was in California, though. Was it like five hours behind? 11, 10, 9, 8, 8, 8 o'clock in the morning, probably. I definitely will do that. Yeah, because I haven't... I mean, I've been in there, but I've, I've popped my head in and just waited a while and stuff. But, yeah, if anybody wants to join the Discord server... Um, do it, son. Do it. Keep stepping on this cord. I almost dropped my phone again. <laughs> And get y'all plugged into the extension cord. <laughs> Hopefully my roommate doesn't flip off the light switch that controls that outlet. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I I sprayed everything over here with Roundup. By the way, that's why everything's dead over there by that tree. Because I, I can't stand, I can't stand taking a freaking lawnmower over all those roots, man. There's so many roots. I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at that. So I just, look at them big old roots and stuff. I hate, I hate this front yard, really, to tell you the truth. It's not, a um, not ideal for a, um, lawnmower, that's for sure. I got a weed eater, but I, I don't like weed eating either. So that's also why I edged my parking lot with Roundup and edged on this crap here too. So, and I gotta take out some trash. <laughs> they come Tuesday, so um, they only give us one as a recycling bin. Stupid. I said that we're gonna give us one with a blue top for trash and yellow for trash and I put I put that out there, they won't pick it up unless it's recyclable. So I put all my beer cans and cardboard and stuff in there. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, somebody would just steal that shit around here, probably. <laughs> I just got a, uh, I think it's a Troy. Yeah, when we first moved here, um, we had a um, a Bowen lawnmower. <laughs> we got a Troy built, which is just about the same thing. But what? What is wrong? Walking on ice right now. Well, I got plenty of sunshine here to free thaw you out, buddy. <laughs> no, if it's moved without a prior authorization from you, a siren will go off and it will be tracked. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm, right? Makes sense. I didn't... <laughs> when uh, when AT Team Adam was in here, I, I showed him a little bit, but here's a close-up. These are my extension cables for the tree. Do you, do you see a similarity about this wire here? I don't know. If you need... If you need me to um, wire your thermostat, I'll gladly do it with this wire. So. <laughs> Hopefully that still works because I've bent that wire so many times, you know, and it does break. <laughs> it is. It's thermostat wire. You're exactly right. <laughs> I might actually see the thing is is I'm gonna have to desolder every connection on that tree or redo the whole dang entire tree. I mean, if it beeps once, dude, it's it's good. Golly, man. I hate people that that's a pet peeve of mine. When you lock up your cars, guys, beep beep, fine. Beep beep. Beep, 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 beep. Shut the fuck up and stop. Anyway. Yep, it is thermostat wire. Mm. Hey, it's probably got better continuity than anything else. To tell you the truth. Because you can run it for long distance. Well, not over 25 feet. I already tried that. Um, you're gonna run anything over 25 feet. You need those F amps from Falcon or Holiday Coro. And that's another soldering thing you probably have to do. Um, we'll go back with that again. See that little little guy right there? Hold on. Ah, shoot. This tripod is being crazy. Little guy right there. See how I got heat shrink on it? Well, it won't go down any further. There we go. And it goes right into another extension. So it goes up and it goes into an extension right into the snowflake of doom. Wow, that's zoomed in way too much. I'm sorry, I I did not mean to hit that button. Gosh, dog it! What did I just do? <laughs> Gosh, what in the hell? Oh crap! Oh my gosh! I 
hate this, man. I didn't put so many. No freaking way. Bro. That's kind of just freaking retarded. I can flip, 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 flip. All right, YouTube. Hmm. Man, this is ruthless. All right, Space, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, Ike, if you're still out there, say something. Because I think I accidentally... Because I was going to click zoom in and whatnot and... Popped up and double-clicked and I think I just... Either kicked him or banned him or something. Dang it. Gosh, dog it. Yeah, I'll be on Discord later, Space. Um, there's a, a double verification on that server, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to get in, but it's for security issues in the past. So just uh, follow the on-screen instructions, man. Good luck. All right, guys, I think I've been out here for like three hours, and I don't think YouTube allows you to do more than, what, five or something? I don't know. 160 minutes. So whatever that is. An hour and 20 minutes or something like that. Um, but I'm probably going to uh, continue tomorrow. Uh, sun's already going down a little bit i mean still have plenty of daylight but um i gotta go get the uh the uh zip ties and stuff like that i thought i had a whole pack of them i seriously did and i don't so tomorrow i'll be just hooking up the tree and hooking up everything in in the yard and that'll be it guys i'm jeff the maintenance man thanks for liking commenting and subscribing I'll see you on the next one.